Welcome to the Cultural Commons Collecting Society Repertoire Management Screencast. We will show you the process of registering a song within our system. Um, I will go to the login. I did a account for our member Lars, just for testing purposes now. Logging in. It leads me to the dashboard saying missing artists. I have to add artists. So artists are an abstraction of your person um, that reflects what you do uh, to music. Uh, it can be a project name or band name. Um, in last case, I add his artist name, pseudonym, and go back uh, to the dashboard to see what's next. It says no files uploaded yet. Why files? We want files from you uh, to... Um, supplement uh, uh, the identity of your song uh, so we can uh, track it uh, and uh, for that purpose uh, we'd like some audio file from you lossless like a WAV or flag file um, if you don't have audio you can submit a, a PDF uh, sheet music, um, but audio is always preferable because uh, with audio we can uh, better track uh, the usage of your music. So um, for now I have to wait a little bit until um, this music uh, is processed in the background. We uh, draw audio fingerprints uh, from uh, your music file and um, so we can uh, track it and uh, see if it's maybe already in our database uh, and uh, we, we get uh, the, the text from the file, the metadata. We uh, get a checksum. Uh, we Pre pre we prepare a preview file so uh, it can be um, played back from the web interface. <clears throat> okay, it's about to be uh, processed now. The audio fingerprint of the whole file is uh, ingested into our database. I go back to files. And I see um, I have a little play player with the um, uh, preview. And I have a fancy button here which says Add Creation. Um, this will ease your life a little bit because you won't have to type um, the title or um, select the artist um, because uh, it comes directly from the um, metadata of the file, the tag, um, yes, you can uh, have tags in WAV files as well. Um, so I'll leave that for now. Of course, uh, the reference to the file is all uh, also added. What I've got to do is to add a contribution because um, um, we have a, a singer on this song which is Thorsten, Thorsten Sander, contributed the vocals so we added um, if it 
was a remix or a remake of something we could add the original song. Here you can also add the lyrics. I submit the creation and got it in my list of creations. Always, uh, if you uh, don't know what's up next, go back to the dashboard, <clears throat> which says I have to add a release. If you have a song, you want to release it, and that's the way we can actually track it. In this case, it's a single track release. We add just This is from a previous attempt. Um, glaub an dich, which means believe in yourself. I can choose the licensing model, attribution, non-commercial, creative commons license, edit. I can add a ISRC code if I want, add the production and uh, copyright date. Under distribution, I could add a label, looking for the label code, adding the label. Um, I could add the label's catalog number. The barcode number, um, of course, release date and online release date uh, can be submitted. And that's, oh, wait, one last thing, um, some more metadata on the uh, release, um, of course, the title which is identical to the track title, but uh, that not may not be always the cause. It can be an uh, album title or something. I would like to add the genre um, to differentiate releases from each other, uh, uh, styles, you got 500 styles uh, to choose from. And of course, uh, nice cover art. Uh. Okay. Um, and now I think I got it all. And that's most of the time. That's all you have to provide to us register your song within our database. For more information, go to our website www.c3s.cc and subscribe to our newsletter or follow us on Facebook.